Paul and Silas in a prison, Philippian jail cell. And, and while they were incarcerated, they, they wasn't singing the blues. They were singing songs of praise. They were singing hymns of praise to God. They, they were praying. And while they were praying and, and lifting God up and, and singing uh, songs of hymns, the Bible said that the prisoners were watching them. And all of a sudden, the earthquake took place. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, the prison began to shake. All of a sudden, God begins to move mightily on their behalf. I'm trying to tell you that, that God will move suddenly. When the church prays, there's power in our prayer. And God moves suddenly. He stops the plans that Satan has against us. But not only does he move suddenly, but he also moves supernaturally. When he moves, he moves, he does things that are humanly impossible and he goes beyond human comprehension. And so when God moves, situations that seem impossible or uh, uh, irreversible are changed. And, and so when God moves supernaturally, what that means is that he will make a way out of no way. And see, Peter was in a tight situation and there seemed to be no hope for his deliverance. Let's recall the events in the story. He was sleeping between two soldiers. He was bound with two chains and he had guards that were in front of the door watching over the prison. There was no way humanly possible that Peter could have got out of that situation. Not even if the disciples would have came to help them, it just would not have been enough of them and they would not have been strong enough to get themselves out of this situation. Well, God will make a way out of no way.